This is one of my favorite dishes y'all can do. And the gravy, oh my gosh. Don't get me started talking about it before I get to the next part. Yeah, we love this dish in this house. All right, so I hope y'all can see that. So nice, nice, make it nice, nice, as I say. Let us do its good work. That's another line Chef KD uses. And now, looking at that, right? Let me rinse my hands off. Looking at that, I feel like it needs a little bit more browning sauce. Now, some of you will say, oh, that's a lot of browning sauce you putting up there. But I like my stuff to be to have the proper color that it's supposed to have um and i like everything to be infused well because we're gonna put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna let it marinate overnight and it's gonna get real real good in there and get them seasonings and that onion i got a lot of different onion in here y'all i got green onion i got red onion I got a yellow onion in here. I, you know, me and my family, we love onion. Um, and especially like if we're making like a gravy, we really, really, really like to have a lot of onion. So, but this already has a very good color to it. Um, so I don't think I need to add any more. And just like that, we're back. We let this meat marinate um, overnight. And this is how it came out. As you can see, it's real, real, real seasoned, real good. That's just a little um, uh, barbecue sauce. Uh, I have some brown sugar hickory barbecue sauce kind of spread on the top of that. These are Jamaican style beach short ribs. And as you can see, I infused all of our seasonings. I got some green onion in there, some bell pepper, some red onion, some yellow onion, some red bell pepper, some, I believe, yellow bell pepper. Um, and we just really, really, really got like a good flavor and a good seasoning working here. And what we're going to do now is uh, usually what I do is I usually put these now on my air fryer in my air fryer or i have an air fryer grill so i usually grill these babies right on up get some good grill marks on them and i'm going to show you exactly how we do that okay and like so you're going to take these beef ribs out of your marinade you just take them and shake them off. Look how good the color came out overnight. That's another reason why we marinate because the color comes out even better. Um, and we only did a tablespoon and a half of um, brown meat. And then we added the barbecue sauce on it, but um, the hickory brown sugar barbecue sauce, but they came out with a very nice color. Very nice color. So, what I'm doing now, I'm just shaking all of my um, whole ingredients off. Now, you're not gonna be able to do that on all of them. You're not gonna be able to shake off every piece, but you wanna get as much as you can off so that you can, um, so that you don't, you know, burn your, this is an air fryer grill I'm using, so I don't want the grill to get all nasty and dirty. Um, so I'm gonna shake off all of this stuff but I'm gonna come back to this. It's the same thing when you're, when you're, ooh, one more. It's the same thing when you're grilling on your normal grill. Um, you wanna shake all of the meat off. I mean, I'm sorry, all the um, whole ingredients off, all your onion and bell pepper and everything, shake it off so that what happens is you're not dirtying up your grill. You don't want these elements to burn. You want them to stew. So when we get ready to put this in our corning dish, when we get ready to put our beef in our corning dish, right? When we get ready to put our beef in our corning dish, what will happen is we'll take those ingredients 
that's our oven just preheating. What we'll do is we'll take those ingredients here, these ingredients here, and we'll put right over top of it. Um, and we'll and it'll and it'll blend right into our gravy. So we're ready to enter the food. Um, with this particular air fryer, it's really nice. It tells you to add the food when once it's preheated, so that's good. So we're gonna put these in here for about I want to say um 15 minutes, and then halfway through. Let's try to get the bigger ones first. And then halfway through, we'll come and strip them. We're just trying to braise them. So they're going to cook the rest of the way when they go in the oven. They smell good already. I'm going to try to fit as many as I can in here because we're just braising. We're not cooking. We're just braising. Careful because this thing gets really hot. I got, I was able to get them all in, y'all. Can y'all see? I was able to get them all in. Now we're gonna let this blast. Give it a good blast of heat for about 10 minutes. And then halfway through, we'll go ahead on and we'll flip them and let the other side do it. Um, grill for another 10 minutes and then we'll put them in our corning dish and we'll make our gravy Okay guys, and now we are flipping That's been about five minutes. Let's see what's going on. So it really didn't do That much of a Grill mark So I would say let it go for another five minutes But as you can see They're getting um, we're just going to turn up. We ain't going to give it all the time. Because what we're doing essentially is we're just braising. Just getting them brown enough. But what I'll probably wind up doing is turning a few of these. Because see, this one over here got nice and brown on the top. Come on now. Mm hmm So yeah, we'll turn them now. And they're already kind of getting these. These are some, these are some tender meat. They're nice and movable. I like that about them. Yep, so we'll turn this over. And then at the bottom, y'all, of this is a bunch of grease that we will use let me mention so that's one of the reasons why I like using this and particularly because let me shut that water off I'm washing the cabbage and I'll show y'all how we're gonna cut that up um, but I like using this in particularly because um, it leaves the juice and the grease rather in the juices down at the bottom and then we can take that and we're going to use that for our gravy. So let's give this another. We'll let this keep going. Shut it down. Yeah, that's good. So we'll shut that down and let it go back at it. And then we'll give it a little bit more time. I said 10 minutes, um, but maybe about 15 minutes for this. In the inside, um, on the outside with the grill, you know it gets hotter quicker, so you know it's going to be um, less time. We're going to add our flour in. Let me first just say that this is the same grease and or oil, juices, what have you, that came out of the bottom of my air fryer. So, I'm just going to sift. A little flour in here and the reason why I'm sifting is because um, this is beef short ribs and I don't want to get any flour clumps in here um, I want the flour to be even now 
as you can see a little bit is falling off the sides but we're still going to use a whisk so you're going to want to put um i'm not going to say it's not a uh, maybe like a half a cup that's about a half a cup of flour yet all right we're going to want to put a half a cup of flour in there um like so and then we're just going to give this a little whisk and make like a a roux, so to speak. So this is what we do, and see how it's coming? This is what we do. We're using a corning dish, um, which cooks well when you wanna like, kinda finish cooking something. You're gonna wanna use your corning dish. So see how that turned to like a paste like that? That's exactly what we want. This is natural flavored gravy from our beef short ribs that we grilled in the air fryer okay and just so you can see just so you can see the beef short ribs came out perfect that's how you want them i like mine a little more brown on the outside because when I stew these they're gonna come up they're already almost off the bone but they're gonna come off the bone even more and they're gonna be so tender it's gonna be like eating water <laughs> so that's how tender it's gonna be so we're excited all right and so we got that going you don't need to add any more oil or anything like that to this no more seasoning no more salt no more any of that because this has a lot of flavor in it right here from what we use uh, the bottom of our um, air fryer pan that has a lot of flavor in it you're gonna put some beef stock in there um, so you're not gonna need any more anything so right now we're gonna just add a little of the beef stock this is how we do our gravy for the beef short ribs. This is how I do mine. This is my recipe for our beef short ribs. So we're going to loosen that up a little bit. Trust me, it will thicken. It's some more of that good um, roux gravy stuff that we just did down at the bottom. So don't worry. We're going to add in some of our beefy onion soup mix. This right here is good when you're making this type of dish too. You're gonna add this in there. Ooh, I'm gonna drop the whole thing in there. You're gonna add that in there. Um, and this has a flour-based consistency in there as well. Okay, so you're gonna wanna give that a little stir. All right. Then you're gonna just start adding your beef short ribs in there like so try to lay them down flat as you can get them right and like I said you don't need to add any more any seasoning or anything to them because what's gonna happen is these are gonna go in the oven for about an hour hour 15 depending on what type of um, oven you have if you're using a gas oven, it's about an hour. If you're using a electric oven, um, you kind of want to gear it, judge it with a fork, go in there and see how tender they are. Are they falling off the bone or not? These smell so good. All right, so you're gonna want to get these in there as best as possible. If you have a big one, that's kind of like hanging at the top. Just move one of the small ones out because you want your big meat to get always to the bottom of the pan first. Because it's going to take longer for it to cook. Alright, so I think we got these in here pretty good. Ooh, it smells so good. I can't wait. Y'all know I love anything with gravy. Alright, and then we got this mixture here. Remember we had this from earlier? That's all gonna go in there. I just need a spoon. And we're just gonna take 
and add this in here like so. Woo! It smells good already. I can't wait until it goes in the oven. And this is my Jamaican style beef rib. And this right here will thicken and it will come out delish. You don't need to add nothing, y'all. What's going to happen is this is going to go all around this and the meat is going to come up and you're going to be able to tell um, once it starts brewing, you'll be able to tell um, if the meat is done or not because you're going to take your fork and test it. Family, they're done. I just wanted y'all to see. And this is how they should come out. Falling off the bone. Very, very tender. Very, very soft. Um, like I said, you're going to want to temp it as well. Just to make sure the meat is at 170. Um, I cooked these to about 170. On about 350. So I slow cooked them. Um, I used an electric stove. Um, but, yep. I've slow cooked them real good. And they're ready to go. We're going to plate it up, show you what it looks like.